Transport Minister Cindy Siwe Chikunga is today launching the 2023 Easter Road Safety Campaign. And the focus this year is on the impact of alcohol use, pedestrian safety and the roadworthiness of vehicles. Ziniko Mshaba is in Pretoria and filed this report, or rather he joins us live now uh, to tell us more about this campaign. Good afternoon, Ziniko. A very good afternoon to you, to Duzile. We're here in Pretoria. Well, so we're on the road now where the minister is expected to come and preside over uh, the monitoring of the situation here on the road just to ensure um, that he, he, he briefs the law enforcement officers who will be spread across the country in different provinces to ensure, especially those graduates who, um, um, who had graduated yesterday. So today is their first day on duty in terms of seeing how the situation is on the ground. So where we are right now, we are at, we are at Astridgeville at the north of Pretoria. Um, going to step out of shot to do this so that we can see some of the work that's been done already by law, inform- uh, law enforcement officers. The two gentlemen you see seeing here just not far away from us, you can see that they are part and parcel of the graduation, um, graduation the team that graduated uh, just yesterday. But there's a collaboration between all enforcement authorities here. The gentlemen you see on the right hand side of our screen, those are coming from uh, the local municipality, local enforcement agency. Uh, as you can see that there's a national road agency as well, SAPS members, they are all here. So the minister during her address uh, earlier on made mention of the fact that uh, the issue of ill-discipline on the road is very, very problematic. Also giving us insight on the statistics saying that most of the road carnages we experience in the last two years were man-made or a bit you to human error or to human behavior that talks to the issues of pedestrians crossing at places where they are not supposed to be crossing at, that talks to the issue of speeding, talks to the issue of alcohol and substance abuse on the road. So saying that what they will be doing this time around with the new graduates, these, these are the cohort of people who are qualified as law enforcement officers, especially when it comes to national road trafficking, ensuring that law enforcement on our, on our roads is done correctly. These are the people who are, who are qualified with the diploma. So as far as the skill and expertise, these are the people who are more qualified than the cohort that's already on our roads or already in the in transport system. So it's, it's going to be very interesting to then see how will they be then communicating um, with the different agencies from um, other provinces as well. But to do that, I was just waiting for the ministers to come through. We'll also engage with her about the specific how will they how they will be doing things differently this time around but from the statistics point of view 2022 was better off compared to 2021 but the minister also mentioned that there's a backlog when it comes to people who are not renewing their licenses saying about hundred uh, about mil, uh, a million licenses have not been renewed we are talking about a license disc we are also talking about the actual driver's license so we'll see what they are planning to do to ensure that people do go out there and renew their licenses too. Okay, thank you very much. Ziniko Mklaba will touch base with you a little bit later on.